forces. Or from South London, Rhiannon Mills reports. That was, I, it was a funny boy, um, kind, caring boy, beautiful and talented. He looked after me and his um, older siblings. Edwin was um, a talented, energetic, vibrant. He was full of life. Shakira Olegmegbon's son, Zach, was only 15 when he was stabbed as he went to school. Genevieve Johnson's boy, Edvin, was only 19. He was knifed yards from his home. This weekend, a memorial is celebrating the boys' lives as their mums continue to live with the memories of the days they died. The night that phone call came to say, Mommy, come quickly, and I ran out of the house, and I saw... The police, they've already um, had the barrier. And I walked up the stairs and I saw my son in that pool of blood. While figures show a drop in knife crime, young people we spoke to at the Salmon Youth Centre in Bermondsey told us it's still a very real problem. I do have a past experience with having people pull knives on me. A few friends that I know is being stabbed. A lot of people that I know used to carry, carry quite a lot. You have carried a knife before. Why did you carry a knife? It was a silly choice I made at the time. It was older kids making me. So far in 2013, six teenagers have been fatally stabbed in London. That's as many as died in the whole of 2012 as a result of knife crime. Despite that, the Met Police say progress has been made, but they're not complacent. My thoughts are with all families of, um, of certainly knife crime and, and more wider actually. Um, yes, I recognise the fact that more can be done. And in fact, we are working very hard um, with various different groups to try and reduce those levels of offending. The memories for Shakira and Genevieve are painful. They hope those still carrying knives will listen to them and learn. You need to know that when you take a child's life, five minutes or five seconds of madness, it destroyed a whole family. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in South London. A cabinet minister has suggested the BBC could lose.